Hey, welcome everybody, Mr. On Demand, man with Master Plan, and my master plan today is we're going to take an old AMD computer, throw Linux on it, and see how it runs. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's a MSI motherboard, over a decade old, AMD processor. This is an old machine, doesn't technically meet the requirements for Windows 11, but if you want to know how to install Windows 11 on this older type of hardware like this, go ahead and leave me a... Uh, a comment down below and I'll send you a link to the video and I'll also put a link up above here uh, that shows you how to do that there is an old AMD Radeon video card we're putting in this machine this is still a really good very usable machine there's absolutely nothing wrong with it putting Linux on it makes it a very capable computer to do your everyday Windows brow web browsing sorry Windows and uh, and such so I had a little problem here where I had a, some standoffs left on the motherboard and uh, my dumbass, I forgot that I had a, a, a fitted wrench that will actually go into those standoffs and I was trying to use uh, some little pliers and stuff to hold it. Uh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Get the proper uh, wrenches and, and do it right. Uh, you know, we all make mistakes once in a while. No problem. I did finally get those screws out so I could put that in with proper standoffs. Uh, for some reason, the previously having that comp that motherboard in a previous machine, it ended up with some of the wrong screws being screwed into the standoffs, so the threading wasn't quite right. Uh, here I'm putting some screws in the motherboard, getting it all screwed down into the computer case, just putting it together, doing your normal everyday uh, type of stuff that I would do in my tech work and yeah, we're trying to plug that in and got to get it in the right slot there there we go hey yeah, I'll get it eventually gotta find that hole um, pop it all the way in all the way down and make sure that it gets good connection and here's Ubuntu going ahead and starting up for us I'm starting up the USB going through the complete install you're gonna be the see the complete install right now uh, kind of boring but yeah bear with me it's gonna go ahead and go pretty quickly um, we've got you know to select our language and select you know a bunch of other options during the install process pretty straightforward if you want to see a full video on how to make your Ubuntu flash drive and install Ubuntu I got a video on that too so look uh, for a link up above or if you're interested in the link to that video leave me a comment down below and I can go ahead and give you a link to that video also and uh, you know post back a comment to you on that not a problem at all I'm more than willing to help out all you guys um, that's one of the reasons I'm here and uh, yeah we're going through the install of Ubuntu it's not really a very difficult thing to install there are a lot of different Linux distros out there and there may be a different distro that suits your needs or that you like better absolutely fine I don't have a problem with that uh, this is just what I chose because Ubuntu is one of the ones that I kind of like the best for me but hey teach their own uh, I'm not judging uh, some people prefer to run all sorts of different things. I personally prefer to run Windows, to be honest, just because, well, it runs more of the software that I like to run. And, you know, let's face it, Windows got a, its set of messes and problems that we don't need to get into in this video. I'm sure many of you already know about those issues. But uh, uh, fast, free, and full of new features. So Ubuntu uh, Linux here giving a little bit of information. I would recommend running an AMD graphics card if you're building a brand new machine to run Linux because they are generally better supported uh, driver-wise, uh, developed with the best of open source. Uh, that's true, it's an open source platform, so you've got, uh, you know, that is a plus for a lot of people. Great for gaming, unless you're needing to run... Uh, certain games online with friends that use anti-cheat you're gonna have some trouble with that but a lot of games today do run really really well with Linux uh, so it's much better for gaming than it ever used to be definitely uh, develop 66% of developers so-called according to that statistic use Linux military class components on this motherboard um, it's <clears throat> all solid-state capacitors that's something you want to look for when you buy electronics, try to get solid state capacitors. There really shouldn't be much of anything out there these days that doesn't have solid state capacitors. Welcome to Ubuntu. 
Um, so now we have Ubuntu installed and, <clears throat> and you're going to go ahead and see that I'm going to show you some of the apps that show up right away with Linux on Ubuntu. Very, It's really a pretty easy operating system to use. It's not really that bad uh, except for things that don't work with it that you might want to use. If you want to use things like Adobe, Photoshop, or those few games out there that don't work with Linux, uh, th then you may want to use a different operating system. But if your plan is for a regular everyday machine that you're just doing your normal web browsing, maybe watching YouTube like I'm showing here, which it does really, really well, um, then you could definitely get away with running Linux for normal everyday usage. Everybody's going to have special certain little things that they want to do that maybe Linux won't do or they're going to have little things that Windows won't do that maybe Linux will do. Put in the comment section below what you do in Linux maybe that Windows doesn't do because that would be a good thing for us to know about. And it gets updates from Ubuntu right there. It's going to do uh, some updates from the install here since I made the flash drive there is new uh, there was new updates for this so there it is installing the updates without a problem I want you to make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for this video if this video was helpful to you and uh, definitely uh, go ahead and let me know down below uh, any suggestions you have on how I can make my videos better going forward in the future you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Catch you all later.